Right, I finally got a dry enough day and some time to change the ambient temperature sensor. Uh, with mine, I found that it was working fine when it was given a false reading. I think the highest it got to was like 80 something degrees, which the placebo effect, if that's how it sort of works. That was good in winter, but it's done now. We've got our week of summer in the UK. But what mine has started doing now is giving no reading at all. All I've got on the dash is two or three little dashes where the temperature would be that's when you start getting the problems with your climate control and your aircon not working. So rather than film it all again, I'm gonna add the video for the mirror cover that I did. So I've already popped the glass out and I've undone the three screws around the size to get this loose enough. Cause these, these sort of, hold on. This bit here holds the temperature sensor down. So you have to get this loose enough just so you can get in there and pop that out. So now we're there, I'm going to get the tripod set up and um, get in there and do some soldering. So I've got my new one here. Looks a little bit different with the colour of the wires. I can't imagine it's going to matter which way you solder them on. But there we are with the cover loose. Just so you can get your fingers in there and pop the old one out. And I'm going to snip them fairly close just in case in future it does go again you know you want to give yourself enough wire to be able to repair it again but touch wood must be the only time so I'm going to snip them somewhere near there and then solder the new ones on before I put it all back in place I'll obviously test it turn the ignition on and see that it is giving a proper reading so this is what we've ended up with I didn't film the um, soldering too much swearing for that going on <laughs> but it's done it's there it's not pretty it's hidden with some heat shrink but now you can see the proper reading 21 instead of 81 or whatever it was so yeah that's that like I said I only took a little bit off of the car's side the feed and then a new one just trimmed it enough so I can still got enough cable to get it bend it back around and back in the slot so I've poked it back through So there's a sensor underneath, poking out where it was, and that's where the cables are laying. I've done the three screws to put this, uh, the sort of plate on the back of the motor back onto the cover. But I'll end it there for it to be as short of a video as I could do. Um, what I've done is I've added the video for the wing mirror cover, so you can take the glass off and put it back on. But um, if you'd already seen, obviously it'd be just a waste of time. So um, but that's that, like I said. So we're in the proper temperature now, two and a half degrees, so we're all sorted. But that's that, it doesn't take too long, like I say the soldering, if you're not too keen on that, you know I'd probably go to like a garage and sling a batana, they'd do that on like their break, two minute job. But yeah, sorted, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.